Hi there boys and girls, this is Noel from creationeffects.com and today I'm going to show you how to quickly make a thickening growing vine that follows a path in After Effects. And the keyword there is thickening because you can find a lot of tutorials out there where you create a vine and then animate it to grow by animating a mask and it doesn't thicken and it's uh, just a clunky way of doing it and uh, we're not cavemen, you know, we're better than that. We, uh, we put on our pants this morning all by ourselves. At least you did, I'm sure. I didn't do that. I, I find it kind of tricky. But even so, I was able to figure this out, and I can tell you that it's a much more elegant and simpler solution. And uh, these growing vines can be combined with other growing elements to create all kinds of really cool flourishes and designs. And I'm going to show you the basics today, but... If you want to spend a little bit of money and save yourself a lot of time and headache, you can go check out the Growing Flourishes template from Creation Effects. And it's this huge collection of growing elements that you can easily customize and easily combine to create some really cool designs. So I'll put a link in the description and you can go watch the demo. Um, but let's get on with this tutorial. Uh, first thing we're going to do is add a new solid layer. So I'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll call it Vine. And I'll just make sure it's comp size and it doesn't matter what color it is. And then I need to draw out our vine. So I'm going to use the pen tool for that. And I'll just start over here. Click and drag to make curves. You can make this whatever shape you want. Um, but don't cross the lines over each other. And uh, just try to keep them spaced out a little bit. If you want to adjust any of these vertices, you can use the uh, selection tool here and you can drag these handles to fine tune the shape. All right, that's fine. And uh, we'll keep this as an open path. And uh, next we need to add what's called a write on effect. So in my effects and presets panel, I'm just going to search for write on. And here it is. I'm just going to drag that to my layer. And you can see in the write-on effect, there's this brush position property. And we want the brush position to follow our path. So what we can do is select a layer and hit the M key to bring up our mask path. And we'll just select it and then copy it. Control or Command C. Then in our write-on effect, I'll select the brush position property and just paste it on there. And it It'll create these keyframes here, which I want them to be at the beginning, so I'll just drag them over. And if I scrub through them, you can see this brush position is now following the shape of our path. And uh, you can see it lasts two seconds. Um, I might want to stretch that out, so I'll just grab the last keyframe and drag it over to the three second mark. And now we can play with the brush size a little bit. Okay, I'm at, I'm at about 50, and I think that's a good thickness for the base of our vine. And then it's just going to get thinner and thinner toward the tip. So I'll go to the uh, the first frame, and I'm going to set it to 50, and set a keyframe for the brush size. And then I'll go to the last frame, and set it to 0, which adds another keyframe. And if I scrub through, you can see the whole thing gets thinner and thinner all at once. And that's not what we want. So... If we go to this brush time properties, uh, we can set that to size. And that's better. Um, let's go ahead and change the color. We'll do some kind of green. And uh, also we've got these dots here, which we'll have to fix. That's the uh, brush spacing property. And if you set that really low, like 0.01, That'll bring them really close together and fix that problem. All right, let's get rid of this background here. Uh, in paint style, set it to on transparent. So now it's just the vine. Okay, let's play back what we got. You can see it's not getting any thicker, uh, but there's an effect for that. If you go up here and search for simple choker, I'll add that. And if I play with that, you can see um, that it, it's really good for thinning and thickening the vine. Uh, what it does is it just finds the edges of a layer and then it contracts them, brings them inward. So uh, at the very first frame, we're going to want to set that at a really high number like 90. And I'll set a keyframe 
and then go forward and set it to zero. So it's starting from 90 and then going to zero and you can see that makes the whole thing get thicker and thicker. Now what if I want it to slow down the thickening as it gets toward the end? Um, and even the growth of the vine. Maybe we want it to start out growing really fast and then slow down at the end. I think that would look nice. Uh, we can do that. Well, you can convert this last keyframe to an easy ease in keyframe um, by right clicking it and going to keyframe assistant. Uh, but I always like using the graph editor. So I'm going to select that keyframe and then hit this little graph editor button. And uh, that last keyframe, we want to bring that down to zero. So right now, this straight horizontal line means that the value is changing at a constant pace. But if we bring this down to zero, and even bring this handle out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it slow down a lot as it gets toward the end. And uh, maybe bring this up a little bit. And I'm going to do that with my other, this brush size property, which I also keyframed. Um, I'm going to move this second keyframe to zero, just like before. All right. You can see that changed the shape of these keyframes. All right. So this is okay. Uh, one thing I'd like to get rid of is this rounded tip. So there's an, another effect that can help with that. It's called flow motion. I'll add that. And uh, you can see we've got uh, this knot one. If I position the knot right on top of the vine and then increase the amount, you can see it adds this funky warping to it. But uh, if I set it to really low value, like two, it just brings it to a point, which is what we want. So, But first we need to make this knot follow the tip of our vine as it grows. So I'm going to alt-click the stopwatch next to the not one property. And down in the timeline, that'll bring up these properties here. And uh, this pick whip one is the one we want. Just click and drag that and drag it to the brush position property. And now that not one is going to follow our brush position. So you can see that's a much finer point now. Um, let's set a keyframe for that amount one value. So two on the first frame, and then on the last frame, we'll make it zero. And uh, again, I'll go to the graph editor and, and make it slow down. All right, let's play that back and see what we got. I feel like the thickening is not getting any slower, and I think that's because I forgot to adjust these keyframes on the choke mat. So I'm going to do the same thing, select those keyframes in the simple choker effect, go to the graph editor. Now I mentioned that you shouldn't have the, uh, the vine cross over itself or parts of it get too close to other parts. And that's because um, it might, this flow motion effect might affect um, and warp parts of it that you don't want to be warped. And you can kind of see that in this example down here. Just barely, you can see it. Well, anyway, if you encounter that, you can, you should be able to fix that by decreasing the fall off. I put it at what, 0 0.1 um, or the amount, just lower the amount and that should do the trick. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So uh, let me just add a few effects to bring it to the next level. First of all, Let's make it kind of wavy so it's not so perfect. I can do that with a turbulent displace effect. Um, I'll just set the size a little bigger, like 130, and lower the amount. We'll do 25. Eh, maybe 30. That's a little more, I don't know, nightmare before Christmas-ish. Also, let's add a bevel to make it more 3D looking. Uh, we can do that by adding a layer style. Just select layer, then go to the layer menu and choose layer styles, then bevel and emboss. And uh, open it up down here and then increase the size. That's pretty cool. And now uh, if we want, we can maybe duplicate this or you can make a bunch of new ones. 
Um, I'm just going to duplicate it and you know, rotate it and scale it down and we can flip it if we want to um, and then just position them in different parts of the vine to kind of create these uh, small viney branches. So that should give you a basic understanding to, to help you create something more complex and interesting. Again, you can get a whole bunch of these that are already pre-made and easy to customize with the Growing Flourishes collection, uh, a template from Creation Effects, and the link is in the description. You get all kinds of growing elements like vines and leaves and branches and grasses. You can customize them with easy to use controls. It comes with lots of different effects which you can add to get different looks and a bunch of already finished designs um, that all you have to do is, is put in your own title and it's finished. I hope that helps some of you. If you like to see really creative visual effects that push the boundaries of what's possible in After Effects, please go check out creationeffects.com. There are a bunch of custom visual effects and custom animation templates there that you can get and use in your own projects to save time and money. Mm -hmm.